and obviously a lot of what you do a lot of your content is based on stuff going on within sporting industry sporting headlines and for that and for you to be a reliable source and to then gain a sensible viewership you obviously have to do a lot of sensible research and a lot of thorough research before you put out these videos do you want to kind of explain to people from a podcaster's point of view what your research method is sort of how you get these stories how you fact check and how you kind of put together your content that you're going to put out i watch a lot so so with sports i've been watching basketball very very intently for 20 years um, like since I was five, six years old, I'm talking about, I'm, I've, I have watched with the exception of when I was in training for the military and stuff like that, like one year or two years. Other than that, I've watched a minimum of 50 Laker games every single year. And now I'm watching 82. I watch every game. Um, when I'm talking about fights, like say, for instance, I have a UFC fighter on my show. I'll go back and I will watch every single fight they have ever had. So I know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't want to put out, you know, bullshit. I don't, I don't want to lie to people or, and make fictional, you know, numbers out there. I'm going to give you concrete, you know, uh, uh, numbers and evidence and facts. And people could go fact check me. And when I'm wrong, I'll say, hey, I messed this up. It should have been this. Or I'll even type it into the video, you know, a little correction. He had 20 points instead of 19. Uh, but to answer your question, I, I watch and I do my research. I do my due diligence. Yeah, because honestly, from someone, obviously I'm British, you're American, and your sports are a lot more intricate. There's a lot more, obviously, yards per carry, fuck it, 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 even down to like quarterbacks, so everything, right? In general, if you try to explain the scoring and point system and the stats in American sports to British people, they, it just doesn't make sense. It blows their minds. Even I tried to explain to my girlfriend about the 10 yards and just in football. I was like, it's just 10 yards. And then she was asking why they were trying to measure it. I'm like, it's to make sure it's 10 yards. And she just couldn't. She was like, why does it matter? I'm like, because he's, I'm like, because he's not 10 yards. He's like inches. Like there's a big, di and obviously for that there, there's a lot more that goes into it. Do you have a particular interest in one sport over the other? So one that you know, like basketball, you know off by heart, a lot of this stuff and a sport that you have to go and look for and look for these facts and look for the stories? So basketball and football, I, I know that stuff. It's like the back of my hand. I know the yards. I know uh, everything, everything, uh, how much people averaged, what they shot from three-point lines, stuff like that. Now, MMA, I've been a big fan of MMA for 10 years plus, but I've been getting very um, – dialed in with MMA just since I started this podcast, maybe about like five months before the podcast. So maybe about a year I've been watching MMA every single week that it comes on every pay-per-view that comes out. Now uh, that's, that's when I got to go back and say, man, let me go back and watch this fight to kind of remember how that went out. Or um, I don't know who this guy is. Let me go back and watch their fight so I can learn about them. That's where I really got to do my catching up. Mm -hmm. Because I know, like, I mean, you obviously are doing this for multiple sports. Just as a general fan of American football, even I can't get my head around it. I didn't even start to understand that half of, these half of these stats are even tracked until I started playing fantasy football. And when I started playing fantasy then, it was honestly a little bit of a rabbit hole I had to put myself down just to try and, like, learn what are these things that people are trying to talk about. And even when I watched your video, sometimes I was like, I have no clue what he is talking about. <laughs> like, I need to sit down and I need to learn football before I can actually say I'm a fan of this. But for you, is there any sort of aspect of it or aspect of the sports that isn't as interesting to talk about so you kind of won't put on blast on your show? As far as what? Uh, a particular sport or? Yeah, any particular sport that you just kind of don't want to talk about, have no interest in, don't think it's going to get viewership. Oh, I have a bunch. I, I don't really care for baseball too much. I know a lot of people watch it. A lot of people love it. I think baseball is pretty boring. I think you have to be very um, athletic and have great hand-eye coordination and, and, you know, twitch of the hips. Those guys are, you know, they're athletes. I think they're badass athletes too, but it's a little slow for me, a little boring. Um, I think watching soccer is pretty boring. I it just, is. I can't get it into is. it. And that's like a worldwide phenomenon. Everybody loves soccer. I think it's just very Shit. dull, very boring. It is. Do you ever watch rugby? 
like uh, rugby. British rugby. Uh, I think rugby is badass, man. I don't like I don't know any players or any teams, but I think rugby is very fun to play and very fun to watch.